Hello bookworms! This is the start of my first vlog in a very, very long time. But I promised you guys that I would show you my full redesigned, not designed, but my fully reorganized bookshelves. So I thought that I would do that in a vlog because why not? I don't like the bookshelf tours where people kind of take every single book off of the shelves, so I'm just gonna go shelf by shelf and show you what I've got going on there. Maybe I'll point out a couple of favorites and yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so first, just giving you a little view, overview of my full shelves. So I decided to put my uh, board games on the top of my bookshelves because we are kind of running out of closet space, so that made some space for us. Don't mind that I have a Baby Yoda on the floor. <laughs> okay, so coming over here first, I have one of those shelves that is kind of like a mishmash of different things. I've got kind of books that maybe just don't fit on any other shelf. I've got actually all of my historical romance because I don't have too many of those yet. You might notice that the fourth book from the Bridgerton series is missing and that's because it is sitting on my TBR cart. And I've also got some nonfiction, some adult fiction, a couple YA fiction as well. Then moving down, I decided to move my Shadowhunter shelves to this side of my bookshelf instead of on the right side where it had been just because I feel like I can see this side a lot more easily and I really love these books and I think that they're really pretty so I kind of wanted them more like front and center. I have this extra space on the second shelf because I know that Chain of Iron is going to be coming out soon <laughs> and then once it does I'm going to have to like make a third Shadowhunter shelf or something because I'm running out of real estate for Shadowhunter books. Then moving down I've got a shelf of like YA, mostly YA fantasy series with the exception of Harry Potter. I addressed this earlier but I obviously, I don't think it needs to be said again but just in case I obviously don't agree with JK Rowling's views. I am keeping all of the Harry Potter books that I have in my collection. Harry Potter was a very formative book series for me but I'm not supporting JK Rowling with any money going forward. So this shelf, like I said, has mostly YA fantasy. It also has the Simon Snow series from Rainbow Roll, which is one of my favorites. The Rise of Kiyoshi books, which are based off of the character Kiyoshi from Avatar The Last Airbender. I thoroughly enjoyed those and a really underrated series that I love is Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf. I have to get the third book. Unfortunately, they did a cover change and that's kind of why I haven't gotten it yet because it's not cute. I've got another shelf of YA and adult fantasy and kind of romance fantasy. So I have, as far as adult fantasy goes, I have the David Bad trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty. I have the Poppy War by R.F. Quang. I'm really hoping to read that one this year and if I enjoy it, I'm definitely gonna be investing in the rest of the series. I also have the Caraval series and then just some random YA books that I love, like Ashley Elston is one of my favorites and I have her four books on the left side. And I also am really excited to get to among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston that came out at the end of 2019 and I need to read that like immediately. And then bottom shelf which is always a little bit of a mess of things. So this just has kind of random books and on here I've got like some of the DC books that I like. I've got some Brandon Sanderson hardcovers because honestly love Brandon Sanderson's books. Don't think that they're the prettiest, so they don't really get prime real estate. And then I have some coffee table books like the Firefly book and the Hamilton book and the Art of Neil Gaiman book. And I also have some duplicate Neil Gaiman books down here. And Rosemary and Rue, I'm really looking forward to reading that one too. Moving on to my next shelf, I have some YA fantasy series. So the Archived and Unbound is one of my favorite YA series like ever. I still have to read the Savage Song and Our Dark Duet, which I'm planning on doing. I I still have to finish the Beautiful Creature series and I still have to finish the Vampire Academy series, but both of which I'm planning on doing in 2020. Then moving down, I have like tall YA fantasy books. <laughs> so this definitely has a lot of my favorites on here. Like I love the Carrie Maniscalco Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I love Sorcery of Thorns. I love the Shadow of the Fox trilogy, the Diviners. I love a Court of Thorns and Roses. I think you guys get the idea. I still have to read Ace of Shades, Kingdom of the Wicked, and Shadows Between Us. 
but I believe I've read everything else on the shelf. Moving down, I've got one of my absolute favorite shelves, and this one has a lot of adult books on it. So starting on the left, which you can't really see because it's kind of covered by the ivy, but I have a book called Digital Minimalism, which is a nonfiction book that I read in the latter half of 2020, and I really, really loved it. It just made me think about social media so differently. It kind of expanded upon that documentary, The Social Dilemma, in, and it really like dove deep in a way that I was hoping that the documentary would have, but just didn't. I also have a couple of my favorite books ever, so Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, Name of the Wind, Night Circus. Then I have some books that I'm really looking forward to reading, like The Vanishing Half, Such a Fun Age, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. No, I haven't read that yet. <laughs> I also then have like Circe, which I love, Daisy Jones and the Six, which is one of my favorites, Crescent City, which is one of my favorites, and yeah. So I just really love this shelf. <laughs> Moving down, we've got the shelf that is directly behind me when I'm filming. So this is kind of a shelf of favorite books and books that I am excited to read. It has the Stormlight Archive series, which I love. It has the special edition of Eye of the World, which is the first book in the Wheel of Time series, which I also really love. And I also have a copy of A Sorcery of Thorns and the Folk of the Air series, and also The Darkest Part of the Forest all by Holly Black. And I've got some nonfiction reads on there too. Let's see how to do this. <laughs> then we have the shelf that is partially blocked by my chair. So <laughs> we've got thrillers and these are all, they're all adult thrillers. Yeah, they're all adult thrillers. And then behind my chair, which you like can't really see and I don't really want to move my chair, but I have two more YA series in there. So I have the Lunar Chronicles and I have the Girl at Midnight series. Then I got this very cute table and that has the first book that I read in 2020, which was Majesty and From Blood and Ash, which I'm hoping to finish today. And then this bottom shelf here, like between my table is pretty much just coffee table books. Moving on to my third bookshelf, this top shelf has a lot of my favorite romance novels and some of my favorite YA contemporaries. So we've got things like Well Met, Red, White, and Royal Blue, The Bromance Book Club, The Kiss Quotient, Morgan Matson's books, and then there are also romances on here that I'm excited to read, like Spoiler Alert, which Alexa from Alexa Loves Books just gave me for Christmas and I cannot wait to get to it. I also have a candle that says Super Space Chick, which was my old username. It's weird that it's not my current name anymore, but I obviously wanted to keep the candle. And next to that, I have a little TARDIS and a Nendoroid of Geralt from The Witcher. Next shelf is all YA contemporaries. So these are books that have remained favorites throughout the year, like some of them that I still just love and think about, like The Sun is Also a Star, When Dimple Met Rishi, Fangirl, obviously, the Two All the Boys series, which means so much to me, Ten Blind Date. The newest editions here are Tweet Cute, The Truth Project, and Again But Better, all of which I really loved. Then next shelf. So we've got some YA series that I really like, like The Raven Boys is a forever favorite, the Scythe series, again, forever favorite. I have Victoria Schwab's debut book, The Near Witch. I have The Inheritance Games, which I'm really excited to read, as well as Lore, which just came out, and I'm planning on reading that in January. I also have the Devouring Grey duology, which is another favorite. The Nantucket duology, which is a favorite contemporary, but I haven't read it in so long and I kind of want to reread it. And then I need to finish reading the Falconer trilogy. Then we've got the shelf that is right behind me while I'm filming on the right side. So on here we've got all of Throne of Glass, the Tor edition of Crescent City, the A Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, the Strange the Dreamer duology, and Naomi Novik's two standalone fantasy novels, Uprooted and Spinning Silver. And I have this very cute Victoria Schwab little like figure. I don't know what to call it, <laughs> but it was in an Illumicrate box and I ended up ordering one for myself on eBay. Then I've got a shelf that is again blocked by this chair, but this shelf, it, like the entire shelf is just the Wheel of Time series. There is nothing else on there. It is just Wheel of Time all the way back. 
so there's that. Moving down, I've got basically a lot of books that are favorites that I just have duplicates of. So I have like my duplicates of Throne of Glass. I have duplicates of Name of the Wind. I do have, so like the books that are on the left side that are on top of like the Second Era Mistborn books are pretty much just holding up the shelf above it because the Wheel of Time literally broke my bookshelf. It is that heavy. Kind of hard to see, <laughs> but coming back here, I also have the duplicate editions of Folk of the Air, again, More Name of the Wind, and then the Magi Magician's Trilogy by Lev Grossman. And finally, we are on my fourth bookshelf, and this is the one where things kind of fall apart. I still have to work on a lot of these shelves, and I think that these ones are kind of a work in progress because I'm planning on reading a lot this year, as I am every year, but I'm gonna need to rework some things and unhaul some things that maybe I don't love as much anymore to make space for new favorites. So, this top shelf, this is all UK paperback editions of favorite books and also the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb, which I have not read yet. Moving down, I've got my Lord of the Rings shelf, which I haven't, like I said, I haven't totally fixed all of the figurine placement, but I've got my Over the Garden Wall figures there and a black rose, so I need to figure out what I'm doing with that. But every single book on the shelf is either a book from Lord of the Rings or Hobbit, or it's a book that is just like encompassing the world of Tolkien. Then we've got this super random shelf, which has the Mistborn series and the books in the Diviner series that don't match the first book, so I don't really want them next to the other one. I also have another duplicate of Folk of the Air, Truth Witch, which I really love. I kind of want to reread Truth Witch, Wind Witch, and then finally read Blood Witch and finish out the series when Witch Shadow comes out later this year. And then on the left side, I also have paperback thrillers and also my Frederick Bachman books. The shelf is like, I don't know what's happening, but it's what it is. Then next shelf, I've got more duplicates of favorites. So this is largely all duplicates of Victoria Schwab books. So I have two other editions of the Darker Shade of Magic series. I have my duplicate edition of Vicious, and then I have her middle grade series, and I have a duplicate of Name of the Wind, and I have two duplicates of Addie LaRue. And actually behind, behind this little TARDIS mug, <laughs> that is full of bookmarks. I have my duplicates of the Raven Boy series. Then moving down, we have another shelf that is what it is. <laughs> this has the Witcher books that I still have to read. I have been unhauling those paperbacks once I finish them because I just don't really like the way that they look. I feel like hopefully I will eventually get ones that are nicer for my collection. Like I have the Illumicrate version of The Last Wish. That's the first book on the shelf. And I really hope that they'll do more of them to look like that. Then I've got things like Kings of the Wild, I've got Sunshine by Robert McKinley, I've got some Neil Gaiman books, and I've got the first two trilogies of The Legend of Drist by Ari Salvatore. And then last shelf is all adult UK versions of fantasy novels. So I have the UK paperbacks for a lot of Brandon Sanderson's books, and then I have the, I think it's called Golans, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that that correctly, but they did really pretty like 10th anniversary editions for a lot of adult fantasy. So I have that for Mistborn and Name of the Wind and the Lies of Locke Lamora series and also the Joe Abercrombie First Law series, which I really need to read already. So as you can see, I have done a lot of work on my bookshelves, but I still definitely have more work to do. I feel like it's a very ongoing process and anyone who curates a book collection knows how challenging it can be because I just have such a great love of books. So whenever I get new ones, I want to incorporate them on my shelves, but I also want to make sure that I'm only holding on to ones that are like absolute favorites. So I definitely did a lot of unhauling last year. I got rid of like... I kept track. <laughs> I got rid of like 476 books, which is quite a bit, and I'm really pleased with that, and I think that my shelves look all the better for it. I'm sure that they'll continue to evolve like as time goes on, but I'm so pleased with the way that they look right now. I really liked that I pulled a lot of the books forward and got rid of a lot of the clutter, minus that fourth shelf. That's kind of where I dumped a lot of the clutter <laughs> while I was cleaning and didn't really like go back to it because my TBR shelf is usually kind of blocking out. These are the shelves. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little bookshelf tour. Let me know if you have favorite ways to organize your shelves or how you keep track of like what's unread versus read if you do like TBR cart or whatever your method is. I'm always curious. <laughs> so that's all that I have for this video and I will see you guys soon in a new one. Bye!